What's up beautiful people, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smartwatch series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the differences between the Bluetooth and the LTE models of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The Galaxy Watch 4 series comes in two models. We have the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, which I have here, and you have the Galaxy Watch 4. Each of these two models comes in two sizes. Why the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here comes in 46mm and 42mm, the Galaxy Watch 4 comes in 40mm and 44mm. What I have here is the 46mm of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And each of these sizes is also available in two models, Bluetooth and um, LTE model. What I have here is the Bluetooth model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the differences between the Bluetooth and the LTE model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The Galaxy Watch 4 series runs on Wear OS 3 out of the box, and this gives you access to more of your favorite apps. Wear OS 3 is a result of the partnership between Samsung and Google. And this is a shift from Titan OS, which powers the Galaxy Watch 3 here, even down to the Galaxy Watch. Furthermore, the Galaxy Watch 4 series have a higher storage capacity and also feature body composition measurement. One thing you should know is that the Bluetooth and LTE model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic have the same features, they have the same design, they have the same um, um, battery capacity, they have the same health tracking features and many more. So guys, let's look at the differences between the LTE and the Bluetooth model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The main difference between the LTE and the Bluetooth model is the presence of an eSIM in the LTE model. And because the LTE model has an eSIM, this enables cellular connectivity, which makes it a standalone, standalone smartwatch that can make and receive calls independent of a smartphone. Okay. Furthermore, the prices are also different. The LTE model will cost you more money. The 46 mm costs $480, while the 42 mm costs um, $400. As for the Bluetooth model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, the 46 mm costs $380, while the 42 mm costs $350. There is an extra cost that comes with the LTE model. LTE has to be activated on the Galaxy Watch 4 and this comes with recurring subscriptions which is around $10 on the average but it all depends on your service provider. As for the battery life, both models like I said before have the same battery capacity. With the 46mm Bluetooth model here, I am able to get um, barely 2 days of battery life so you should expect that the LTE model will have a lower battery life than this because um, the LTE model will constantly try to search for signals and this is going to definitely impact the battery life of the LTE model. So the, so the LTE model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic definitely has a lower battery life than the Bluetooth model and that means that if you decide to get the LTE model then of course you must charge it every day at least once. So going further, what are the advantages? What do you get with the LTE model over the Bluetooth model? With the LTE model, you can make and receive calls, you can stream music on popular services like YouTube and Spotify, you can receive and send messages with apps installed on the, the watch, you can um, install apps, you can use Google Maps, you can install watch faces, you can browse the internet, and of course, you can call emergency contacts okay, from the LTE model, all these independent of a smartphone. The Bluetooth model can do all this, okay, all these features I just mentioned right now, but it requires your phone to be nearby. So basically, the LTE model gives you additional freedom. It gives you um, that um, um, freedom whereby you can drop your phone behind while still staying connected. So guys, now that you know the differences between the LTE and the Bluetooth model, if you decide to buy the LTE model, there are a few precautions that you want to take and the first one there is that the LTE model of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic has an eSIM so you don't need to insert any SIM into the LTE model for LTE to be activated okay and secondly you want to check the supported models and carriers in your region there is a link in the description go to the link and check to confirm the supported models and of course the carriers in your region 
that way you're buying the right model okay and also you know the supporting carriers in your country or region so going further the galaxy watch 4 lte model has to work with the same carrier as your phone in some cases the watch can have its own number or share the same number as your phone but whatever be the case okay you have to confirm from your service provider what plans are available for the galaxy watch 4 uh, classic lte model and going further you want to also contact your cellular provider to confirm if you must have a samsung smartphone to activate lte on the galaxy watch 4 classic now this is very important because in some cases um, it has to be that you must have a samsung smartphone for you to um, activate lte on the galaxy watch 4 classic so you want to confirm from a service provider if this is the case okay so that you know what you are doing so guys that is basically the precautions that you have to bear in mind before taking that step to purchase the lte model of the galaxy watch 4 classic and just in case just in case the galaxy watch 4 classic here does not support um standalone plan okay for you to set up LTE on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, it has to be done from a smartphone with the same carrier. Okay, but just in case you're trying to set up um, LTE on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic that is different from the carrier on your phone, there is a link in the description that shows you how to do that. Okay, so go to that link and um, read what the user there um, put up as steps that you have to take to set up LTE on the Galaxy Watch 4 that is different from what carrier you have on your phone. So should you buy the LTE model or the Bluetooth model? The Bluetooth model is a popular choice. It is cheaper and the battery life is a bit um, better than the LTE model. And of course, it does everything the LTE model uh, can do, except that you have to carry your phone along. But with the LTE model, you are getting additional freedom from your phone and not just that if you work out outdoor most times the galaxy watch 4 lte model can be um, of great can come in handy for you as it can help you call preset emergency contacts when there is a problem i think that that for me is the major um reason why i want to buy the lte model so guys that is it for this video if you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up if you have a question drop it in the comment section and if you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button right now until next time goodbye